what, what the haters talking about. Yeah. What's up, family? This one is going to get under your skins. Going to make you want to hurt something. Last summer, two brothers were arrested and charged with attacking a downtown loft dweller early one morning. But six months later, the truth has finally come out. Backed by surveillance video, the brothers Christopher Tate and Jerry Tate were actually the victims. They'd been robbed at gunpoint by 29-year-old Patrick Owens, who framed them as his attackers after shooting the older brother. The Tates are black, Owens is white, and the Tates can't help but think that race had something to do with it. Oh, but they're not by themselves. Everybody knows race has something to do with it. Everybody with an ounce of sense. Police say that the surveillance video shows Owens accosting the brothers as they got out of their pickup truck at 11th Street and Lucas. First, Owens asked for a ride. Then he brandished a gun and demanded their wallets. In the struggle that ensued, Owens shot Christopher Tate, then lost his gun. The brothers picked up the gun and ran. Unfortunately for them, the police allegedly saw them hiding the gun in a flower pot and they were all too willing to believe Owens when Owens told them that he was robbed by the brothers. Now, after all of this, they were arrested and the St. Louis Post-Dispatch, the local paper, reported at the time that they'd kicked and punched another man who fought back with his gun. <laughs> As the paper now details an extraordinary story, it took the brothers' mother pushing the police to exonerate her sons. One of the sons said, Jerry says that his mother was constantly on the police telling the police to check the surveillance video. There's video all over this area. Check the video. They finally checked it and the video show that the brothers were indeed telling the truth. They were the victims and Owens was the suspect, the perpetrator, the criminal. This Owens guy is a character. Court records show incidentally that Owens had previously pled guilty to driving under the influence in St. Louis County. He was sentenced to two years probation for that. Just two weeks before the incident where he framed the brothers, Court records show he was again busted for DWI, this time in Sunset Hills. That case is still pending. Owens is now facing charges of attempted robbery, armed criminal action, and second degree assault, as well as one misdemeanor count of making a false report. Whoo, man, it is exhausting trying to read or keep up with all of these cases on do. Off the top, thank God for a loving, supportive mother. Had it not been for her persistence, her sons could very well be in prison. Wow. I gotta tell you, man, the white guy, he shoots somebody during a robbery and they charge him with second degree assault. You shoot somebody during a robbery, the commission, you, you commit a felony in the commission of a felony and they charge you with second degree assault? Only in America. No more talk. What the talking about?